This video is to share the most common problem I run into when installing WooCommerce into a WordPress theme. Broken product listing pages. The formatting is broken. The background is missing from this page. Also, the category page is broken. Um, the buttons are kind of cut off like this, and again, the background is missing. Now, if I use short code, here's the short code that I'm using, but if I use this Woo button to do products by category slug, and then I put my category name in, in this case it's plays-2, I get something a little less broken, but still you'll see the buttons messed up looking here. And then when you do click it to visit the product page, you see the missing background thing that we're dealing with before. After a lot of searching, I figured out, well, it's right there, and the WooCommerce help files, uh, the there is a way to customize the page template so that it will work. And so if you go to docs.woothemes.com, front slash document, front slash third dash party dash custom dash theme dash compatibility, you will see this page. And if we scroll on down to the replace the loop, uh, sorry, we'll start with this. Basically, we want to duplicate page.php from our theme file. So I am connected with Fire FTP, so I'm going to download page.php to my desktop, little folder here. And then the next thing that it says to do is rename this file or duplicate it and call it woocommerce.php. So I'm going to come back to my page and duplicate it and give it that new name and then I'll go ahead and open it in Dreamweaver or some HTML editor. Here we go. And the next thing that it says, replace the loop. So find the loop starts with PHP if have post, ends here PHP and if, and replace it with this. Have underscore posts and if. So here's the have underscore posts. Oh, here it says start the loop. And while, is there going to be an end if here? No, maybe the end while. PHP end if. I think we're going to go with the end while. So let's replace this here with the WooCommerce. PHP piece. I'll go ahead and save it. Come back to Firefox and upload this new theme file. This will make WooCommerce's loop instead. Save the file and you're done. So let's come back here and hopefully when we refresh we are good to go.